Hello everyone welcome to Foster Recap. Today I am going to recap a sci-fi and action movie called Kurish 3. This movie is continuation of our previous recap movie Kurish. If you didn't watch have a look at a link is in description. If you like our content please subscribe. Krishna, after rescuing his father Rohit from Dr. Arya, is now living happily with his father and wife Priya while also rescuing the city of Mumbai from all kinds of evil. The movie begins with Rohit inventing a special pen. To showcase his invention, he wakes up Krishna and Priya before sunrise and shows them the pen. It's not an ordinary pen, it can regenerate dead tissue back to life by using the morning sunrise light. Rohit puts a dead plant and shoots it with a beam of light. It starts regenerating, but it ultimately gets destroyed and burns into ashes within a few minutes. Rohit gets disappointed by his failed experiment, but Priya advises him to use a filter to allow good light to reach the cells while filtering out harmful rays. Rohit agrees to build a filter, and they get ready for work. Priya drops Krishna off at his office, but it appears that he has been fired from his previous job. His new job is at a security office, as it seems that Krishna, while moonlighting as superhero Krish, is regularly fired from various day jobs due to his lack of attendance. As Krishna is getting ready for his duty, he hears news of a Boeing plane with a front tire malfunction mid-air. Krishna quickly disguises himself as Krish and goes to the rescue. He jumps from building to building with super speed and catches the plane mid-air. He stretches the malfunctioning tire with his super strength and asks the pilot to land the plane. The pilot lands the plane safely on the runway, and all the passengers thanks Kurish. On the other hand, inside Rohit's office, there was information about a strange virus contaminating Namibia. All research labs were searching for a cure, and new officer Varun Shetty was giving an interview, expressing confidence that they would find a cure soon. After the interview Varun called Rohit and asked him to find Cure as soon as possible trusting him, later Varun received a call from an unknown man who wanted to meet him and share some secret information. Varun gave him an appointment, and when the man arrived at his office, he saw a beautiful woman sitting on his table. Varun was confused because he didn't know how she had entered his office. He ordered her to leave, but she introduced herself as Kaya. When she touched Varun's hand, to his surprise, she transformed into Varun right in front of his eyes. Varun tried to defend himself, but Kaya killed him and waited for the unknown man's arrival. When the man entered, he gave all the information he had regarding the virus. He worked in call laboratories and accused them of inventing viruses and selling the antidote for money. Kaya, who was disguised as Varun, returned to her original form and killed the man, taking his evidence and clearing the room. Now, the main villain of the story is Kal, who has superhuman abilities. Unfortunately, he is crippled due to the absence of bone marrow. He can move things with his two fingers using psychokinetic powers. He is making mutant humans and naming them Manavars by combining his DNA and animals in search of bone marrow. For this research, he is making deadly viruses from his blood DNA and selling the antidotes for money. He is creating a mutant army from them. In his lab, he is testing a new member of Manvar, which translates as animal in the body of human, who has the ability of chameleons and can stretch his tongue to attack. They tested his bone marrow, but it didn't match, leaving Kal disappointed. Rohit was observing the virus in India when he realized that it was not a naturally occurring virus, but a lab-made one. He received the good news that Kal Laboratories had invented a cure for the virus, and Rohit felt happy. After rescuing a little boy, Krishna went back to his office, but his boss noticed his absence and fired him. This was a routine occurrence for Krishna. Later, he received a message from Priya to meet her at 11 am. When he arrived, she had arranged a surprise birthday party for him, and to double his happiness, she told him that she was pregnant. Krishna felt overjoyed, and they enjoyed their party. In the morning, they shared the information with Rohit, who was happy and gifted a gold chain to Priya. He then went to his office to distribute sweets. In Call Lab, he was very angry, and Kaya asked Call why he was so upset. Call told her a flashback story about how he was born without bone marrow, and his father never told him the reason. He had taken revenge by killing his father and enjoying his fortune, which he used to build his company. Later, they selected India as their target for spreading the virus, and Kal's men quickly went to Mumbai to plant the virus on water pipes, railway stations, and public places. Krishna and Priya went to an ice cream parlor to enjoy their ice cream, 
but the ice cream scoop vanished around them. Krishna asked the worker to scoop another cone, and then he noticed a long tongue stealing ice cream in slow motion. He found out the culprit was the chameleon man. I think Kal didn't give them money to buy ice cream. Krishna followed him, but the chameleon man escaped cleverly. The next day, the entire city of Mumbai was infected with the virus, and many people collapsed in the middle of the road. All hospitals were overflowing, and a huge truck collapsed in the middle of the road on the way to the hospital because the truck driver had collapsed due to infection. Krishna came and cleared the truck from the way, and a small infected child came to Krishna for help and fell unconscious in his hands. He took the child and ran to the hospital, but other people were also crying for help. Unfortunately, the child died in Krishna's hands, and he felt helpless and sad. Krishna went to his father and explained the situation, and the brilliant Rohit did not understand what to do. He then observed that everyone who was in close contact with an infected person got infected except for their family members. Rohit, Krishna, and Priya, who was carrying Krishna's baby, did not get infected. Rohit thought that their DNA could contain a cure, but to test this, one of them had to inject the virus directly into their body, which was risky. However, Krishna decided to take the risk and injected the virus. At first, it started growing, but eventually, it stopped, proving that Rohit was correct. He quickly made an antidote for the virus, and Krishna jumped from building to building, spreading the antidote across Mumbai. The next day, Kal noticed that the virus infection had decreased and thought that someone had sold the antidote to India. However, he learned the truth that Rohit who invented antidote, and sent his team to abduct Rohit. In Mumbai city, the mayor arranged a ceremony to express gratitude to Rohit and unveil the Krish statue. After the inauguration, everyone danced and enjoyed the festivities. Meanwhile, Kaya and her group were gathering information about Rohit and destroying his lab. Upon hearing the siren sound, Krish rushed to the lab and discovered that it was engulfed in flames. Krish briefly decided to help the officers and firefighters. Meanwhile, in Krishna's house, they were having dinner when someone rang the doorbell. Priya went to check, hoping it was Krishna, but found no one there. As she closed the door and turned around, suddenly, the door broke, injuring her. Kal's men surrounded the house and forcefully abducted Rohit. Krish arrived on the scene just in time to rescue his father. A fight broke out, and Krish overpowered them all. However, Kaya had other plans and escaped, leaving the chameleon man to his fate. Krish successfully captured him and rushed Priya to the hospital. After some time, the doctor arrived and informed them that Priya was in stable condition, but sadly, she had lost her unborn child. Krishna and Rohit were devastated and emotional. It turned out that Kaya had disguised herself as a doctor and misled Krishna, giving him the wrong information. She had also successfully kidnapped Priya, who was now in Kal's custody. Krishna took Kaya, who was in Priya's form, to his house. In Kal's lab, Kal wanted to test on Priya's baby. He decided to extract her unborn baby and conduct an experiment. Unfortunately, the baby was not fully developed, so he had to wait for 10 days. Meanwhile, Kaya was feeling frustrated and trying to find ways to kill the man whom Krish had captured. She did not know that Krish and Krishna were the same person. Kaya went outside to learn more about Krish and realized that he was a kind person who had saved many lives in the city. Everywhere she went, she heard positive things about Krish. Suddenly, she received a call from Krishna, who told her that he was busy dealing with the man they had captured. Kaya quickly went to the lab and pretended to be afraid of the man, asking Krishna and Rohit to kill him. The man suddenly saw Priya and realized that she was Kaya. He attacked her, but Kaya managed to finish him off without anyone noticing. Krishna then threw the man into a vat of concentrated acid, assuming that he was dead. Kaya, who was now in love with Krishna, slowly began to understand the difference between right and wrong. That night, Rohit told Krishna that he was going to Singapore, to uncover the truth about the experiments conducted on him, while he was in captivity. He told Krishna to take care of Priya. However, it turned out that Rohit had shared the information with Kaya, who had disguised herself as Krishna. When Rohit left for the airport, Krishna became confused and told him that they had not discussed the trip the night before. Krishna realized that something was wrong and rushed home as Kurish. When Kaya saw him, she panicked. Kurish understood that she was not Priya, and a fight broke out. 
Krish attacked Kaya, and she finally realized that Krish was actually Krishna. Kaya had a change of heart and informed them all about Kal's evil plans. On the other hand, Kal abducted Rohit and asked him what truth he had learned in Singapore. Rohit revealed that when he was captive in Dr. Arya's lab, his DNA was taken to create a cloned baby, but the experiment failed, and the baby was born crippled. As a result, it was left in an orphanage. Kal learned the truth about his own birth and then realized that he is Rohit's clone child. Kal tested Rohit's bone marrow and found that it was a perfect match for him. So, he decided to take Rohit's marrow. Karish and Kaya quickly came to Kal's lab, but it was too late as Kal had already successfully taken Rohit's bone marrow, and now he could stand and now he can have sex. Sorry. Now he becomes so powerful and control anything, using his powers, Karish successfully entered the lab, fighting with the Manvars. On the other hand, Kaya rescued Priya and handed her over to Karish. Kaya informed Karish that Kal was not there at the lab. She assumes he was in his second lab. Kaya went to Kal's another lab, where she noticed that Kal was now standing and wearing a new suit that looked disgusting. Kal saw that Kaya had betrayed him, and she attacked him, but she couldn't match his strength. Kal instantly killed Kaya. Later, Karish came after hiding Priya in a safe place. Karish noticed Kaya's dead body and felt emotional, and Kal told him that he had so many things to cry about because he would kill all of Karish's family one by one. Karish got angry, and another fight broke out. However, it seemed like Karish was no match for Kal, as Kal totally dominated him and made him partially unconscious. Rohit came to Krishna and told him to get up and finish Kal, which made Kal more angry. He killed Karish aka Krishna and left Rohit near his dead body, and went to kill Priya. The End No no no, I, I'm just kidding. Kal had reached Mumbai and destroyed the statue of Karish. The police and media arrived on the scene, pointing their guns at him, but with a simple gesture, he twisted the barrels with his two fingers. He then announced to everyone that he had killed Karish and that he now intended to kill Priya. He warned that if she didn't show up, he would kill everyone one by one. He then easily blasted two army helicopters with his powers. Meanwhile, Rohit was crying beside Krish's body, then he saw a reflection of sunlight. He arranged all the mirrors in a pattern and placed a special pen he had invented at the beginning of the movie. The light rays fell on Krish's body, but they were burning him. So, he stood between the light, acting as a filter. The good rays, whatever they may be, fell on Krish and cured him. Rohit then gave a heartfelt monologue about how he had sacrificed himself because he loved Karish and wanted to combine their powers so they could defend against evil once again. He then burned into ashes. Karish was filled with emotion. In Mumbai, Priya was approaching Kal, accompanied by others. She told them that Karish wasn't just a name, it represented their strength. Kal took a step to kill them all at once using sharp spikes. However, he suddenly heard a sound behind him. He turned to see that it was none other than Karish. He had returned after his death with new abilities. Kal turned the spikes towards Karish, but with his newfound abilities, he deflected them. The two siblings flew into the air and collided with each other. Karish furiously beat Kal. During the collision, they damaged multiple buildings and injured many people. They collided with a huge building, and half of it was about to fall down. Karl, while he himself slowed down the impact. However, Kal forced the building to fall, but Karish saw a small kid below and rushed to save him, taking the impact of the falling building. Karish was seriously injured, but he saved the kid. Kal threw Karish, who was injured, near a building, and he took Priya with him to try and kill her in front of Karish. However, Karish, being brilliant, pushed Kal near a giant magnet and trapped him. He then charged up and punched Kal throwing him near a pile of concrete junk where he was impaled by iron rods. Karish thought he had gone to hell, but suddenly Kal woke up and surprised him by launching an iron rod into his stomach, declaring himself immortal. Karish noticed a beam of sunlight and levitated in the air, using his father's pen against Kal, burning him and turning him into ashes, finally killing his brother. I don't know who is cleaning this piece of chocolate yogurt there left. After this chaotic episode, six months passed, and Karish was recovering in the hospital while recalling his father's final words. 
A doctor announced to Krishna that he was blessed with a baby boy and named him Rohit, after his father. The end. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe for our efforts, and don't fight with your siblings. Thank you and take care.